What's going on guys, GeoSnorite here, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to downgrade untethered and without any SHSH or SHSH2 blobs from iOS 9.3.5 back to iOS 8.4.1 on 32-bit devices jailbroken with Phoenix jailbreak. So um, this is going to involve a little bit of modification to the system so that you can go back without any blobs and it's possible because Apple still signs iOS 8.4.1 but only on OTA which means only on updates that are made through the uh, general system update or software update uh, tab in here. Only this way. It's not available as an IPSW update. So we're using this trick in here. Now before we start, I know it's going to be uh, something very interesting for you to go back to 8.4.1 and some of the devices like the iPhone 4s or the iPod Touch 5th um, generation are going to work tremendously faster on iOS 8.4.1 than, uh, than they work on the iOS 9.3.5. Everybody knows about, you know, Planet Obsolescence but before we start do this only on a device that you don't really care too much about or that can be uh, restored back to 9.3.5 should something go wrong I'm not um, liable for any damages to your jailbreak so you should keep that in mind it uh, works but it's it is prone to fail at some point if uh, if you're not you know careful and therefore only do this if your device can go back to 9.3.5 that is an iPhone 4s or an iPod touch fifth generation some of the iPads if your device device has iOS 10 update available, do not do this. Okay, let's start. Uh, enough ranting, let's go ahead in here. We need to download Filesa after we jailbreak, of course. So you go ahead here in Cydia and you locate Filesa, which shouldn't be uh, that hard to do. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, basically, you, you need a file manager in order to, to modify this gunk. So um, go, go ahead in here and search for Filesa. You can use iFile if you want, but I prefer to use Files are because it's newer and works better. So files are file manager and you need to install this one in here. Pretty simple to, to do so. Okay, after you install it, I'm going to, to go ahead here to settings to make a note of the version I'm currently on. You can see it's on the about in here. It says iOS 9.3.5, 13G36. So uh, what we're going to do is to uh, go ahead here in files and locate a specific file. And that is going to be in the system and it's going to be the system um, the system version file. So let me go ahead in here to show you wh where you need to go. So you need to be here in the root. You can see that, um, that slash in here, which means you're in the, uh, the root of the folders. So you have everything in here. Then you need to go to system and uh, the system is located in here. In system, you need to go to library and you need to locate core services. Core services is basically down here. Let me just look for it. Okay, core services. In core services, I'm going to sort them by name, you need to locate the system uh, version.plist file. So, okay, system version.plist, and you need to open it. You can see it shows this uh, tree structure in here. Uh, and you have a uh, product build version, 13G36. We need to fiddle with that. You have the product copyright. You don't need to care about that. Product name, don't care about that. Product version, again, 9.3.5. Again, another warning. If you're modifying these things, as we're going to do so right now, you will not be able to jailbreak again your device after reboot. So make sure you do write the correct values in here to get your device to, to you know, go to iOS 8.4.1. Because if you fail and if you do something wrong, you will not be able to change this after the reboot. Because Phoenix is not able to detect in this current version what is going on and why you changed that. So probably in the next versions is going to, to do so. But for the moment, you're going to change the product version version, which is going to break Phoenix. Keep that in mind. Okay, uh, we're going to change this one here, product version. So we're going to go here. We need to write here on the value 6.0. Because we want to go to the uh, to the iOS 8.4.1, we need to be on iOS 6. I and mean, we're going to fool the settings application to think that we are on iOS 6. That is very important to do so. Um, because uh, for some reason, Apple lets you upgrade from iOS 6 first to iOS 8.4.1 and after that from iOS 8.4.1 to 9.3.5. You can simply jump from iOS 6 to iOS uh, 9.3.5 and we're using this um, this thing in here in our own um, advantage. Right, so uh, we need to, to also change the product build version and that is going to be in here. So uh, make sure you write the correct one because either way you're going to break the device. So um, 
I'm going to go here to this website, ipsw.me, and in this website in here, you're going to locate your device, in my case, it's going to be an iPod, uh, iPod Touch 5th generation, my case in here. You can see only iOS 9.3.5 is currently signed, but uh, that doesn't matter, we're going to scroll to the bottom. iOS 6.0, so it's going to be 10A406. Okay, let me do. Okay, 10A406. Let's double check. 10A406. Okay, that is correct. So now we have the uh, build number and the build version of the iOS 6, and we're going to save it. And at this point, uh, the settings application will think we're running the actual um, iOS. 6 and not iOS 9.3.5 and it will give us the iOS 8.4.1 update to go to but we're basically downgrading before you can do that you need to reboot your phone now so I'm gonna be right back after I reboot my phone okay so um, you can see uh, we have the uh, the actual device in here and uh, it's running 9.3.5 if we navigate here to the uh, settings we go to general and then we go to software update you can see we have an update for 8.4.1 it says update requested now we need to wait for it to start but here is the actual you know content of it the actual log going back here i'm going to show you that on the about section i do have ios 6 in here it says but i'm not running ios 6 of course and um, you can see i do have the update for 8.4.1 Okay, so uh, as you can see, it's downloading. Now it says install now, so we can start installing the uh, the iOS version. I need to input my passcode, and I'm gonna be back. All right, so uh, this is the uh, the device back. We need to allow this thing. Let me let me try to get it. Uh, okay. Finally, you click agree and you're going to start installing the uh, iOS 8.4.1. Now it's going to verify the update, as you can see from here. And uh, yeah, it's going to just take a couple seconds. So uh, the verifying process is not a lengthy one. And you can see it's, um, it's going to restart the device, of course. And uh, yeah, you should probably have a backup of your device before you do this. It would be uh, an interesting idea, just in case. It's going to update, it's not going to erase your data, but it's still good to, you know, have any... Oh, look, look at there. Yeah, it, um, it actually shows the uh, verifying and it restarted the device. So let's wait for it to, you know, go into the, um, into the installing mode, okay. Okay, so uh, we have the uh, slide to upgrade in here. I have to input my passcode, just a second. Okay, right. And it shows this progress bar in here because it's upgrading the uh, device. You can see um, it transformed in white background now instead of black one with white Apple logo. And that should be, you know, the normal background because it's a white device. I don't know why iOS 9.3.5 used to have black uh, background. Anyways, you can see here the Apple logo and the progress bar and we're waiting for it to do so. Now, this is a lengthy process that you should keep in mind. And um, yeah, it's going to take like a minute or two. Your data is not going to be removed, you should keep in mind. And you can see here, the progress bar has finally increased. This is the Apple logo, and we're waiting to get into the setup screen. Yeah, uh, okay, basically we are on the setup screen. I have to input my passcode again, so I'm gonna be back on the computer to continue the process. All right, so as you can see, we're finally on iOS 8.4.1. I went through the setup part and I activated the device, and here we are. It's iOS 8.4.1. You can actually recognize it by the passbook application, which is no longer a thing. And uh, we're going to go here to settings to actually confirm that, and go ahead and here to general, to software update. If we go to software update, you're going to see there is an update downloading, I'm going to, of course, not install it for iOS 9.3.5. And then if you go here to about, you can see that I am currently running the version 8.4.1, 12H321. So uh, I'm currently running this. There is apparently no public jailbreak available for the iOS 8.4.1, aside of look at this code's official original YALU, which is incomplete, but I think you can try it though. I am not very aware of what's, um, what's the matter with that jailbreak. But anyways, the, this device is most likely running way faster on 8.4.1, and the simple fact that you're able to you know downgrade this device to 8.4.1, it's it's downright nice. I mean, 
just just check this out you you can simply do it and you can see this is the ios 8 control center in here and uh, yeah i'm going to disable this you can go through the applications like the passbook and so on and they do all work so this is actually it guys this is how you get your device to be um uh, to be downgraded back to iOS 8.4.1 without any blobs. This is untethered, so if you reboot your device, it's still going to be on iOS 8.4.1. Make sure you do not install the updates though, because as you can see, it's going to try to download updates in the background. You can install a profile for tvOS beta in order to disable the, um, the update. And uh, yeah, you just got your, um, your device now on iOS 8 without any blobs thanks to the uh, Phoenix jailbreak and this little bug in the Apple server. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Give this video a thumb up if you enjoyed it. Give it a thumb down if you don't. And tell me in the comment section down below what is the device we're going to, to downgrade and whether you, of course, succeeded or not. Peace out.